My name is Anthony, and I'll be drawing for you. Hey, Planet Earth, we meet again. Welcome to Anthony Draws For You, the channel where no idea is too crazy. All right, so here's the scoop. I just got done finishing the zombie Disney princess video series, and what a lot of bloody good fun that was. In case you missed it, here's a quick recap. <laughs> <laughs> So that about brings us up to speed. If you'd like the full version, please click the links in the description below. <laughs> All right, so I have a very, very special guest here with me today. He's here to give your brain the workout it needs, especially after all that Halloween junk food. Okay, actually, I have a desktop confessional to make right now. My guest has been here all along. You've actually been watching him for the past 43 seconds. Don't look down at the time count, eyes up here, because you're gonna be spending the rest of this video with Tony. We're gonna be doing a lot of stretching today. I'm gonna give you an exercise to shake that extra sketch in your brain for the next time you get stuck in a creative rut and you need to boost your creativity muscles. Do you have a creative assignment where you're expected to bring the goods to the table? Even if you're banging your head against that table and you feel like you've left all your goods on another planet somewhere? Go have a cup of coffee, the internet will tell you. Go for a walk, they'll all say. But what do you do when you get back from that walk and you sit back at your desk only to find yourself in the same creative funk that you were in before you left? Coach Tony is here to help you shake off the dust with an exercise that you can do during your next break. So pull up a chair, sharpen your pencils, hit the subscribe button, and let's take it to the paper. Okay, so we're gonna take it back to elementary school. Raise your hand if your notebook was covered in a whole bunch of these. For those of you who actually paid attention in class and did not do all of that, all of your notebook, simply put, you're drawing a cube by starting with two squares. You do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and you connect the corners. Simple enough. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take these boxes and we're gonna make them oblong. We're gonna stretch them, we're gonna mold them, we're gonna beat them up to give our brains a rest from the rules. Sometimes you get so stuck in your head about what it's supposed to look like and what the rules are and whether or not you're doing it right or wrong that you often forget the very important exploration aspect of your drawing. How many times have you drawn something by accident and sort of felt like you were discovering it on the page and you're like, huh, that looks pretty good. I didn't even mean to do that. Um, yeah, this exercise is meant to help you sort of train your eye or detrain or retrain your eye, I should say, to let its guard down just a little bit and be more playful with your drawing in a productive way. So the idea is just to get a little bit loose and to just warp the boxes a little bit. That's all we're doing, we're warping boxes. We don't have to hand this in to any teacher. We don't have to submit this to any boss. This is just you playing around on the paper for five minutes. Stretchy boxes on the hillside. Stretchy boxes made of tacky tacky stretchy boxes. You can even flop it over completely like the opposite side is actually touching the same surface. You know, like it's falling over like it's doing a backward handstand or something. Okay, so let's try something a little different. Let's try stacking the boxes. Yeah, let's make this one squished over here. So we got our top surface square going this way and our bottom surface, this square going this way, but the edges have to be rounded out because we're getting compressed. So it's like, sort of like that. So it's like, all right, so let's do one more in the back here. Oh, let's do it like thick on the top and thin on the bottom and make it like one of them Rocco's Modern Life houses. It's always a good habit to shade one side and make it the same side for all of your boxes. I see a stretchy box, I want it painted black. No straight edges anymore, I want them curved and to turn black. So this is the basic idea. So think of it like a more sophisticated version of drawing cubes or that S chain when you were a kid. You start throwing a couple of lines down and that cloud of frustration that sort of can find its way into your 
headspace while you're working. This is one little trick that I use to keep that far away. And here's the best part of all this. You ready? These stretchy boxes that you just drew are ripe for all kinds of possibility to draw anything on top. And what I'm looking at, I see a couple of things. You know what I see here? You ever see that movie Cool World where the buildings like sort of twist and like wind around each other? I see that going on with a bunch of buildings. And I also see a s'more sandwich the size of a library over here. <laughs> that good old squished box. And this isn't meant to be anything in particular. I'm just sort of messing around on the page. But yeah, that's the basic idea. Just to start training your eye to see stuff that's not there. There's just no telling what a stretched out cube might turn into. All right, troops, that'll do for today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more cartoony magic and mayhem. I have some exciting pop culture mashups in the works that you don't want to miss. And be on the lookout for more creative brain exercises like these from Coach Tony later this week. I'll catch you on the flip side. Later, dudes.